activity we're gonna start of course with drawing with pencil uh, which you can choose uh, what you feel is uh, best for you to use um, and also acrylic paints and the what uh, for the palette you can use your watercolor uh, paint uh, lid and uh, after you finish you can just wash it and uh, use it for our next time so i hope you enjoy the uh, greece history and uh, uh, we, we covered today about uh, mythology and other interesting facts about Greece that it's inspired still now uh, be in our modern life uh, we're still using lots of things and uh, for this uh, ex uh, this ex uh, activity uh, we're gonna do uh, the artist Greek artist uh, modern Greek artist Alekos Fesianos uh, pictures inspired us to create something modern Greek uh, style um, art and if you look at his pictures uh, you see that uh, he included like symbols of Greece in one picture to tell a story so this time we will also think about what other symbols we can put together to make a story and one of the symbols what I would like to do on this uh, activity is uh, a beautiful pottery they were um, discovered and used and uh, the beautiful shapes and, um, and decorations so one symbol would be pottery like one of the pots um, the other symbol I really like architectural columns that was used in uh, Greece so I'm going to use the second symbol of the columns and then the third symbol um, I like the uh, clothes of the Greece uh, people were wearing like you know lots of like you know fabric draperies going on um, so we're gonna include that so it's kind of gonna be like a a modern uh, still life picture which uh, we're gonna draw today so as you can see this time my paper is vertical direction and um, I'm gonna draw first the line where I'm thinking my table is going to be and then I'm gonna plan to draw where is going to be my base and the the vase is going to be like the most important um, uh, object of this picture and remember how we were drawing cylinders um, we would use the oval shapes at the front uh, at the bottom and at the back but this time, because as you see in his picture, he kind of like broke the art rules. Um, so he did the straight line at the top and at the bottom. So this is what I'm going to do this time. Um, so I'm going to draw the line straight and um, at the bottom. And then I'm going to draw that this part a bit like, you know, um, when you're pouring the, uh, the water. And then I'm going to do quite wide over here. And then, but it's you know again remember like there is lots of ways of drawing the vase so it's up to you maybe what uh, character ways you would like to use for your picture um, now we're gonna draw the vase even though this part 
I might be rubbing out because you won't see it but it's always good to draw to see where this part will be and um, then I'm, I'm thinking to draw like a, a holding part of the vase which they like to use these lovely handles and um, and now I'm thinking from the vase I'm gonna draw the drapery of fabric which falling down and I did like in three parts and and I do quite statically not like you know originally would be my drapery very like you know wavy and um, but because of um, by looking at his art I see that you know he using very static um, lines so I'm kind of like trying to represent his work but my way so so I'm going to draw these draperies. Now I'm going to rub it out all the, par the parts I don't need. And uh, now I'm thinking I'm going to show um, on the vase some nice... Um, patterns remember the grease had these interesting patterns so you can create your own and um, then in here you can draw like you know any other symbol of the um, of the grease uh, but uh, this time I'm gonna leave it empty because we're gonna paint first and then we're gonna use marker maybe to draw something here so just to keep it uh, clean for now and now I'm gonna. Th I'm thinking about um, like uh, uh, architecture of of the Greece uh, building, and uh, remember these like columns. So I would draw these columns now to represent Greece architecture and I'll fit maybe half of another column and um, I'm thinking about um, Maybe I'll do the door here to get in the house. Okay, something like that. And um, now I'm thinking about the colors. And uh, we know that in, if you travel to the Greece, you see um, they were using blue color. They have this orangey beige color black and uh, maybe we'll include some uh, pink or green in the background so um, so let's get started with the painting so for this project I'm gonna use acrylic color 
uh, ultramarine blue, raw sienna, grass green, and black, uh, black color. So, oh, this one is brand new, so we're going to just peel off the... So black, I'll put it like on the side. I will be doing last because this is the darkest color and um, we will use it at the end. This is green. This was new, so I'm just going to open. This is like a beige sienna color. And this is blue so as you can see I didn't take a lot I just you you know um, pour just a tiny bit and um, I have a water here but it's very important uh, not to use too much water and your brush is need to be just dr dry wet not wet that you know we were used to with watercolors this is a little bit different uh, paint and uh, we don't need to use too much water for this but I'm just gonna put my brush in the water and as you can see I'm taking out all the water out from my brush and this brush is like almost dry um, and I'm gonna take blue now and I'm thinking I'm going to paint with blue my table. The drapery, I'm thinking of leaving white. But again, it's always up to you what you would like to um you know what colors you would like to use and uh, how you want to represent your picture so for example this table um, you can use green color or um, the color you know you would like to use is up to you but um the reason I chose blue color for this table is then we're looking at our color wheel and we see that uh, blue is great uh, contrast with um, orangey colors which we're going to use later on for the vase. So I thought it's going to be great. Um, use that so when I draw the painted with blue color I washed my brush in the water or you can use wet wipes remember as we did the color wheel it's very good useful to use wet wipes as they wet the brush and cleans the brush but not makes it very wet but if we're using water just wash your brush Again, take all the water out from the brush and even use your fingers to clean it out. That it would be quite dry, uh, damp but dry uh, brush. Now I'm going to use the um, cream sienna. And I'm just going to paint the inside of the pot. The parts I want to use this color. So um, for the small parts, use your brush tip to achieve very 
close and thin line so as you can see I'm not pushing my brush like this to draw the line I'm just using a tip of my brush to paint around very detailed parts so my tip is just I'm just using my tip to cover the small parts of the pot as over here I'm just gonna go slowly and neatly around using my tip of the brush um, if I start working on this I start thinking oh maybe I should add some green leaves over here out of the vase as you know representing the olive leaf uh, petals that was used in Olympic Games and um, to represent the glory and um, so I thought it would be quite nice to have here a bit of green and maybe I'll do green in the middle over here and the um, the door but um, for the shape of this building I remember that he was using a quite nice pink uh, color so I will make now a pink color for this uh, building and I'm using a little bit of uh, vermilion uh, red and um, a bit of white um, and I'm putting uh, a bit more white so to mix we always take just a tiny bit of red and then tiny bit of white and mix, mixing separately the reason is why because then we have still red and blue available for us to use for our picture so I'm very happy with the color I made and uh, now I'm gonna use this color for this building and as you know now um, they are looking like white and uh, pale with no color but in 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 Asian Greece apparently they were painted in lots of different colors and they were vibrant and um, um, it's just you know through many years of um, you know weather conditions and and time uh, all the colors uh, faded and at the moment they are white but it used to be um, beautifully painted so if you feel like you know you need again to make this color you just put um, a bit more paint and again mix it and um, To use the black color uh, to cover up the rest of the vase that uh, we were painting 
and uh, for the big spaces we're using the thicker brush and for the small spaces I'm going to use now a small brush and we're using a tip of the brush uh, not pushing the brush uh, but uh, slightly uh, uh, using the brush to paint the small spaces. So now we're gonna take a little bit of this creamy color and quite a lot of white and we're gonna make this like creamy color which I'm gonna use for the background so as you can see I'm using this green color so now I'm gonna use my marker and uh, be sure that your picture is really dry and use don't press too hard of your marker because if you press it might stop drawing if it stop drawing just use piece of paper and just clear the tip of your marker and now i'm gonna follow my lines which i draw with pencil and i'm going to draw this columns to show my work to show this building and then I'm gonna use black line for my drapery Um, for example for these I might use some again some patterns to represent you know. <laughs> Greece, but doesn't have to be like very my own creation and then we're gonna use the if you want to make it more neatly clean you can use your sharpie to go around your vase you can do the same with your leaves And now we're going to think of our day's decoration over here. And um, we'll do maybe something related with the sports. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to draw like a... Um, stickman maybe this time so here's first I'm doing like a stickman 
Um, is he trying maybe to get and then I'm gonna start building around this stick man the body uh, shape and maybe another figure that sh you can't see but maybe it's going to be like a again some athlete you know we we don't see what he's doing but we can just do like like maybe he's running And um, I think I'm happy with this lovely picture that I created today.